of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my dear friends, especially to all of you who are watching us live. We, today we celebrate the feast of St. Clare, Santa Clara. She was a close friend of St. Francis of Assisi, who helped her found the monastic order named after her. Interestingly, St. Clair was designated as the patron saint of television in 1958 by Pope Pius XII because when she was very ill, she could not attend Mass and was reportedly able to see and hear it on the wall in her room. Well, we don't have physical walls here present, but perhaps this online Mass makes up for it. She can well be the patron saint uh, for online uh, Masses. We ask for her intercession as we remain faithful to Christ's invitations in our lives. As we gather around the table of our Lord, we humbly acknowledge our sinfulness and ask for God's mercy and pardon. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your mercy led St. Clair to a love of poverty, grant through her intercession that following Christ in poverty of spirit, we may merit to contemplate you one day in the heavenly kingdom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, you live in the midst of a rebellious house. They have eyes to see, but do not see, and ears to hear, but do not hear, for they are a rebellious house. Now, son of man, during the day while they are looking on, prepare your baggage as those for exile. And again, while they are looking on, migrate from where you live to another place, perhaps they will see that they are a rebellious house. You shall bring out your baggage like an exile in the daytime while they are looking on. In the evening, again, while they are looking on, you shall go out like one of those driven into exile. While they look on, dig a hole in the wall and pass through it. While they look on, shoulder the burden and set out in the darkness. Cover your face that you may not see the land, for I have made you a sign for the house of Israel. I did as I was told. 
During the day, I brought out my baggage as though it were that of an exile. And at evening, I dug a hole through the wall with my hand. And while they looked on, set out in the darkness, shouldering my burden. Then, in the morning, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, did not the house of Israel, that rebellious house, ask you what you were doing? Tell them, thus says the Lord God, this oracle concerns Jerusalem and the whole house of Israel within it. I am a sign for you. As I have done, so shall it be done to them. As captives, they shall go into exile. The prince who is among them shall shoulder his burden and set out in darkness, going through a hole he has dug out in the wall and covering his face, lest he be seen by anyone. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not, Do not forget, forget the, the works, works of, of the Lord. Lord. They tempted and rebelled against God the Most High and kept not his decrees. They turned back and were faithless like their fathers. They recoiled like a treacherous bow. Do not forget the works of the Lord. They agreed, they angered him with their high places and with their idols roused his jealousy. God heard and was enraged and utterly rejected Israel. Do not, Do not forget, forget the works of the Lord. Lord. And he surrendered his strength into captivity, his glory in the hands of the foe. He abandoned his people to the sword and was enraged against his inheritance. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Let your countenance shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property, in payment of the debt. At that the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put, him, put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you unless each of you forgives his brother from his heart. When Jesus finished these words, he left Galilee and went to the district of Judea across the Jordan. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, my dear friends, the Lord instructs us to do one of the hardest things to do, which is to forgive. Really, isn't this too much to ask? 
Sobra ka naman, Lord, we may feel that to follow this teaching is to try something which is totally beyond our capacity and that it would require a tremendous amount of willpower on our part. And that doing so, forgiving those who have wronged us, would only encourage them to behave even worse. But the Gospel today, my dear friends, reminds us that reconciliation, to be reconciled with God and with one another, is at the very core of every Christian community and mission. When we think and speak of God as a God of justice, we must also and always remember that He is, at the very same time, a God of mercy. The lesson in today's parable is a mystery that quite, that's quite baffling for us to understand completely, that God's justice is always wrapped in His mercy. But most of us seem to prefer to remember the justice part with our insistence on the punitive aspect of justice. We want to punish. More often than not, we forget the, that mercy, the, the mercy part, perhaps because we realize that to accept a God of boundless mercy means that we too have to be boundless in our mercies as well. But my dear friends, all of us are recipients and stewards of God's mercy and forgiveness. It is hard to forgive those who have hurt us, and sometimes it's tempting to hold back because we want to make sure that we're perfectly prepared and ready to do so. To be able to forgive from the heart, we must take to heart what we ourselves have, have received from the Lord, that we have been recipients of His mercy and forgiveness. And because we were forgiven and shown mercy by God, can we find it in our heart of hearts to be also merciful towards others? Perhaps not right away, but sooner or later, we need to forgive because we deserve to have peace. How many times should I forgive? As many times as God forgives, and that is 77 times. Forgiveness then requires not just a lot of strength, and love, but also involves a lot of pain. But forgive we must, for our own sake. Withholding our forgiveness, continuing to resent others, will only kill us. We forgive not because the offending party deserves it, but because we do it for our own peace of mind. I might be wrong, but reflecting on the gospel today and my experiences as a confessor, I realize that forgiveness, for it to be truly fruitful and life-giving, forgiveness needs to be unconditional. We cannot insist that we will decide to forgive if and only if the offending party repents and realizes his fault. Doing so is like drinking poison, waiting for the other person to die. Pero sa totoo lang, ang hirap talagang magpatawad, lalo na kapag tayo yung nasaktan. What helped me in reflecting on this rather difficult instruction is to try replace, replacing the word forgiveness with the word love. How often must I love? As many times as God loves, and that is 77 times. Today is the death anniversary of my Lola. We call her Lola Pasing, but her full name is Pasensya. And all her life, she lived out her name. Sobra ang kanyang pasensya. She was patient through and through. She was patient, but she was also big-hearted and loving. And that made her forgive easily. Siya yung modelo ko ng pagpapatawad. Make no mistake about it, my dear friends. Forgiveness certainly does not mean that we also forget. To forgive does not mean that we tolerate others to hurt us. Our obligation to forgive others is matched by our obligation to resist the evil that people do to us or to others. But the fact is, we need to forgive even those who continue to do evil for our very own well-being. Not right away, perhaps, because for some people, forgiveness may involve a long process, and it is all right. But when you're ready to forgive, forgive. When you think about it, that's what our Lord Himself did, especially on the cross. He forgave and continued to forgive up to His last breath until He has lost count. 
My dear friends, we have been recipients of God's mercy and forgiveness. Huwag naman po natin sanang ipagkait sa iba ang natanggap nating biyaya ng pagpapatawad. We have been recipients of God's grace. We have been forgiven and loved by Him who has shown us great mercy. As followers of Christ, who have experienced tremendous love from Him, we see things in a completely different way, and we aspire to be, to be living witnesses of God's generosity and mercy in today's broken and wounded world. Santa Clara, pray for us. Let us pray to God that as His people who have experienced His forgiveness, we may bring the joy of reconciliation to the world. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the people of God set free by the blood of Christ may not be divided in factions, but live in tolerance and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those embittered by injuries and wrongdoings may cast away resentment from their hearts and be open to the peace of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those among us who find it difficult to forgive may realize God's generous mercy for everyone, and may we be able to forgive from our hearts, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those of us who feel the deep wounds of physical and spiritual injuries may find healing in the Lord's forgiveness, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may be forgiven of their sins, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for those celebrating their birthdays, Ruth Ignacio, Arnold Rabena, Father Martin Likup of the Sight of Jesus, Brother Melvin Palme of the Sight of Jesus, Genevieve Son, Alice Serna, Melvin Macrohon, Laika Calago, Grace Gregorio, and Jeff C. Waga Zulita for the healing of Maddie Harrison, Susing Pineda, Vicky Huvalia, Ilsa Reyes, Marilu Carlos, and Yvonne Peralta. For the repose of the souls of Osefa Ramos de la Rama, Preslanda Senyeres, Gilby Carlos, Father Manuel Perez of the Society of Jesus, Gilbertson, Betty Gunn, Paciencia Subang, Julio C. Sr., and for the special intentions of May Tan, Aga Camarata, Alex and Marina Magliare on their wedding anniversary. And for all the intentions you've sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Radio Katipunan, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, look with compassion on our failures. Deliver us from hardness of heart and grant that we may be always ready to forgive hurts and heal divisions. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for a good and the good of all His holy church. Through the present oblation of O Lord, which we offer in commemoration of Blessed Clare, bestow on your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support. So that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels and with the great and with a great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Manuel and Pacencia, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Clare, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. Now we pray the prayer that Jesus Himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me, says the Lord. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, in commemoration of Blessed Clare, sanctify our minds and hearts that we may merit to be made sharers in the divine nature through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Sumaya, who on fire, and so some by seagulls.